What up? Welcome to Gear Zombie, and today we're going to talk about why your podcast mic doesn't matter. Okay, today on Gear Zombie, we're going to talk about why your podcast mic doesn't matter. Before we get there, though, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you know when I'm going to put out more quality content like this peach is sure to be. Okay, your podcast mic doesn't matter. And here's why I want to discuss this today. I've been podcasting for a long time, and people continually put out videos or post on Reddit or uh, groups on Facebook that the most important thing for a podcaster is the microphone. Be sure you spend the money on the microphone. And I 100% disagree with that. Today, we're going to go Go through some common podcasting microphones also going to go through some really expensive and some really cheap microphones i'm using the evo 8 interface which is a fantastic little interface i'm actually kind of in love with this guy there's a review for this we'll put a card up here so you can check it out and right now i'm using the ev re20 i'm going into a cloud lifter and then into my evo 8. if i can drive home any point during this video it's that all of this stuff doesn't really matter sure it's neat i love it i love my re20 i love my sm7b i love my cloud lifter but when i very first started podcasting i had a handful of studio microphones at my disposal nothing expensive i had a couple of blues i had a couple of akg microphones i had okay microphones but they were for when i was recording music with vocalists i was not geared towards spoken word and then i started podcasting and all of a sudden i had friends that I was podcasting with. And what was I not going to do? I was not going to buy four SM7Bs or four RE20s. And then really, if you're going to use an RE20 or an SM7B, it's almost a requirement to have a cloud lifter. It's not a requirement, but it'll make your life a lot easier to have a cloud lifter. And so then one day, this has probably been 10 years ago, a Black Friday deal at Guitar Center, and they had the digital reference drv 100 china they even got the polar pattern printed right on it and these right now go for like 40 bucks or something at guitar center if i remember right i got them on black friday i got a four pack of them for like a hundred bucks might have been less i want to say it was 80 bucks i want to say it was under a hundred dollars when push came to shove using something like this compared to using something far greater something like this is really all you need so right now i'm using the evre 20 through a cloud lifter into my interface and to give you an idea i had to look it up the re 20 currently on sweetwater is 449 if you pair the cloud lifter 569 that is the price for the two paired together so 569 i have 199 in this interface which is a foreign interface just to get started off the ground in my daw i use cakewalk by band lab which is 100 percent free all the built-in effects and everything you need are all right there and while this sounds great let's plug in actually let me put some headphones on because i want to hear the difference as well let's plug in this drv 100 and let's see how much of a difference there is. There will be a sonic difference, but let's just take a peek and see how big that difference is. Okay, so I am handheld with this right now, and I don't have a pee popper on it. Oh, here, we can pull the pee popper off this guy. So here's a DRV100. This is a $40 microphone. This is a DRV100 plugged directly into the Evo 8, $40. And then back to over here, the RE20 with a cloud lifter, what I say, $569, $39.99, $569. And the best part is what this microphone is lacking by comparison to the re20 really is the bottom end is the re20 a better mic absolutely it is a far better microphone and if you're after the more radio broadcaster type of sound this is 100 percent the way to go i would never argue with you on that if you want to create good quality content and have everybody have their own microphone the drv100 cannot be beat let's try out something else real quick well let's just plug in the sm7b without a cloud lifter Let's try that real quick. Here we go. Here is the SM7B without a cloud lifter. And I actually, I have the gain completely cranked right now. The SM7B is $399 by itself. No cloud lifter. You want to add a cloud lifter, $589. But that comes with cables in a stand. Unless you hit this with a cloud lifter and give it a little bit of relief, it, it tends to kind of accentuate the highs and almost sort of drop the lows. Let's try just an old school Shure SM57. All right, here is just a straight up SM57. About a $100 microphone. 
Um, I've got a 58 somewhere. I'd have to, I'd have to dig it out, but similar element, so much cheaper than having an RE20 or an SM7B. Here is a Sennheiser E935. Um, I actually quite like this microphone. This is one that I tend to take to the NAM shows when I have to interview people. This is a $199 mic. For any of the interview stuff that you've seen on this channel, most all of it has been the E935. Um, this mic is a workhorse. I'll probably continue to use it unless, you know, something else comes along. I'd really like a Telefunken, if I'm being honest. Now let's get ridiculous. Here I have, this is more what you would call a boutique microphone. Let's plug this in. This is not anything that you would probably use for a podcast or broadcast. I mean, this is a vocal mic. This is what you want to use on your singers. I was able to do some content for Roswell. Had we not just spent the last year being locked down, I would have created a lot more content with this microphone. So hopefully the world lightens back up and we can get back at that at doing cool things. But let's plug in the Roswell and see what the difference is is between our DRV 100 and a 14, $1,300 microphone. All right, here is the Roswell Colaris as a broadcast microphone. This is a $1,300 microphone. And here is our DRV 100, currently $49 microphone. So again, the Roswell Colaris, $1,300 microphone, DRV 100, a $40 microphone. Now, if I'm being honest, I'm taking the Colaris all day. This sounds sweet. This sounds this sounds better than microphones that cost twice as much. But if you're doing a podcast, you don't need a $1,300 microphone. So you might be asking yourself, Mr. Matt from Gear Zombie, if the single most important thing to purchase for your podcast is not a microphone, what is it? Very simply, an interface, a good interface. The thing that people don't ever consider when they're doing their podcast is post-processing. A lot of people just want to do something really cheap and fast and then just throw it out on the internet for just a couple of hundred bucks, provided that you have a computer. There is no reason you can't use something simple like the DRV100 and an interface and have good sound. When you're doing a podcast, everybody having an independent microphone is far more important than what kind of microphone it is. With my $39 mic, my $200 interface, my laptop that I already have to own for other things, under 500 bucks, you could be completely outfitted for a four person podcast. And that to me is money way better spent than five, six, seven hundred bucks per microphone. All right. If you liked anything that was going on today, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little notification bell. I would love to see you back. Links to all this stuff is going to be in the description. So click away, come back. Happy making audio things. Till next time, Gear Zombie.